The former Chief of Defense Staff, General Gabriel Olani Shaking, uh, retired, ha successfully being pulled out of service in Abuja. The event saw him officially uh, depart the Mogadishu cantonment with his wife in a motorgate. Motorgate, beg your pardon. Uh, General Olani Shaking took the reins of the defense headquarters on July 13th, 2015, to lead the campaign against terrorism in the Northeast and served 42 years in the army after being enlisted in 1979. By the opportunity and privilege to have served as the Chief of Defense Staff in the history of the Armed Forces of Nigeria. My long and successful career is by the uncommon grace and favor of the Almighty God. And the magnanimity of Mr. President, President Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, which is here for who found me worthy of my appointment as the 16th Chief of the Defense Staff of the Armed Forces of Nigeria. I therefore owe a deep sense of gratitude to His Excellency, the President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, President Muhammad Buhari, for the opportunity to have served the country especially at the highest military strategic level. Let's take you to Adama State now, where Governor Maru of Interior has expressed appreciation to the Buhari-led administration for commissioning a rural electrification project in the state, saying that the project will make the people explore all available entrepreneurial opportunities. Fintiri, who was represented by the Commissioner for Works and Energy Development, Adamu Atiku, also said that the project will improve the livelihood of the host community. Electricity enveils the social economic activities in the communities such as these. Therefore, the importance of providing adequate and reliable electricity in Nigerian communities cannot be overemphasized. As we have continued to equitably deploy energy infrastructure across the nation. I am very, very delighted that we are here today in my home to continue to provide access to reliable electric power for rural dwellers irrespective of their location. Access to energy is a pivotal factor to any form of economic growth, development and improvement in quality of life, which is greatly needed, especially during this period of global economic meltdown as a result of the pandemic. I must congratulate the Federal Ministry of Power, management and staff of the REA for the, de for the drive toward to achieving nationwide access to electricity, especially in rural communities. I want to thank the Federal Government of Nigeria, the Governor of our great state, the Board and Management of Rural Electrification Agency, for the initiation and successful completion of this project. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.